Hello everybody and welcome to the Hungry House Husband Show. Today I have for you one pan Mexican quinoa. Now for those out there who have been hiding under a rock uh, and don't know what quinoa is, quinoa is uh, very closely related to beetroots and spinach and tumbleweeds, uh, but it's a seed. Uh, the edible part is the seed and you basically boil it somewhat kind of sort of like rice uh, and that seed will open up and it has a very pleasant texture almost pillowy uh, very light in the mouth uh, and uh, the taste is basically that of whatever you put it in so if you add stock to it it's going to taste like stock uh, cumin, pepper, all that kind of stuff, it's going to take on the flavor of whatever spice you put on it. Uh, it is very good for you. It's high in essential amino acids uh, like lysine. So if you're a Jurassic Park dinosaur, you can eat this and stay alive, apparently. Uh, and uh, has a good decent amount of calcium, phosphorus, and iron. And it's uh, very high in protein. So we're going to make this one pan wonder. Uh, most of it does come from a can. I usually cook uh, only from scratch. Uh, but this is one of those one pan, last minute, you're in a hurry, you don't have all day to cook kind of meals. So let's get going here. Now we will begin by uh, taking our pan uh, with our olive oil in it over medium high heat and just add to that uh, our garlic and jalapeno. And we're going to give this a stir. Uh, now this has been on for a minute or so, so it's, it's nice and warm already. Uh, see it bubbling away there. We're going to go ahead and give this a quick stir fry if you will. For about a minute or so just until it gets really really aromatic you want to be sure not to stop stirring that garlic uh, if the garlic burns it's going to make the whole dish bitter and it's going to release a really funky smell into your kitchen okay uh, you also don't want to burn the jalapeno because then you get pepper sprayed Now, after a minute or so, we're going to go ahead and add in our broth. Now, I use chicken broth. You can use vegetable uh, if you want to make this completely vegetarian. Uh, but uh, go ahead, do that. Uh, give it a nice stir. Then we add our beans, our tomatoes, our quinoa. Now, this is quinoa. It looks like a little chia seed or something. Uh, when you first uh, get them in the box. Be sure to rinse them if they are not pre-rinsed and even if they're pre-rinsed probably a good idea to rinse them again. Sometimes they get a, a funky dust on them and it uh, really kind of clouds up your food and it doesn't really taste that great. Uh, so go ahead uh, just add those in. They almost look like fish pellets. Uh, the first time I saw them I was really turned off uh, and then ate them at a restaurant uh, and it uh, didn't even know what it was it just looked good ate it was amazed at the texture uh, the lightness of it and uh, been cooking with it ever since it, it was just great so back to the recipe uh, here we go with the uh, fire roasted tomatoes and then also a can of corn drained and then our black beans rinsed drained and then rinsed again uh, be sure to get the juice out of it uh, that's not good eats and then we'll add in our uh, chili powder and our cumin and then we want to hit it with just a little bit of salt and pepper to taste uh, then we're going to basically just give it a good stir. Now we're going to uh, bring this to a boil, cover it and reduce the heat and just let it simmer until the quinoa is cooked through and opened up. It'll, it'll take about 20 minutes or so. Uh, at that point you, know, you can go ahead and stir in your avocado, uh, add your lime juice and your cilantro. Now, I don't add those things for a reason. 
Uh, first off, my wife is allergic to avocados. She will die. Uh, secondly, I don't add cilantro because there is a gene out there uh, that some people have that makes them think that cilantro tastes like soap. Uh, she has that as well. Uh, the lime juice I do add. Uh, it brings a nice citrus uh, note to it. Uh, but the uh, avocado and cilantro, that's why you won't see me add those because my wife hates one and will die with the other. So here we are about 20 minutes later. Go ahead and take the top off and you can see the quinoa uh, has almost gone translucent. It is nice and opened and just kind of fluff it up a little bit. You can see a lot of the moisture has uh, been absorbed and uh, all that stock and all that, uh, that flavor that was infused into that stock is now inside the quinoa. Very, very good, very tasty. Uh, you can see uh, here for uh, as a close-up of texture, uh, it's very light, uh, very uh, airy. So go ahead, uh, add the avocado, the cilantro, uh, and uh, maybe the squirt of uh, lime juice if you'd like here. And there we are, uh, the one pan Mexican quinoa. Great dinner for those busy mom nights or dad nights uh, when you're having to run the kids around, packed full of energy. It's good for you. It's a great uh, alternative for Meatless Monday, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, and, uh, and it tastes great. So. Thanks for letting me cook for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, comments, uh, what have you, please down below. Be sure to like and subscribe and check us out on Facebook for more videos. Until next time, may your life and your food always have flavor. Bye-bye.